While playing around with WhatsApp, I stumbled across a weird chat history between two people I don't know. It scared the hell out of me. When I tried to find it again, the app crashed and kept crashing. Luckily, I managed to make a copy. And here it is. BOO! <laughs> uh, what, what is up you guys? I'm Charmix and today we're gonna be doing, I don't even know what this is. Like a lot of you guys have been telling me to react to this, um, this weird story. It's called, uh, Annie96 is typing and it's like a really creepy story, I guess. I don't know, I just read like the, um, the blurb that it's about, so I'm not really sure what we're getting into here, but supposedly it's gonna be quite SPOOKY! Anyway, uh, <laughs> with that being said, I hope you guys like this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up and let's begin. All right, so the first message Annie sent says, are you sleeping? All right, let's find out what the second one is. Uh, so the McDavy responds with no. Guess you're not either. All right, so do they know each other then? I assume so. Uh, Annie says, can't. The wind sounds like cats fighting. What's your excuse? Studying. Yeah, so they obviously know each other. So far, this is not weird. Annie says, so that's what they call porn now. <laughs> All right, Annie's got a sense of humor. All right, I, I'm liking it so far. How is this scary? Uh, Davey responds with Annie WTF. Annie's just joking ar around. Uh, Annie responds with not denying it. Oh, so, so uh, Davey's watching some hentai or something. I still can't believe what Johnny did today. Oh, he's trying to change the conversation. I guess uh, I guess he was caught studying. Uh, all right, so Annie says, "Me neither. That boy has issues." All right, so what did Johnny do? What the fuck? The wind's so loud. That doesn't sound normal. LOL. No wind over here, just rain. If it's raining where you live, there might be wind somewhere else, because that normally, you know, coexists with rain. Uh, lucky you, I need my beauty sleep. Damn right you do. Oh, is he, is he flirting now? So is this getting a little bit flirtatious? And he responds back with, what? You mean I look... Shit, I think I heard footsteps on the gravel outside. Annie is like a normal person. I thought like Annie, for, for whatever reason, I was thinking that like this Annie person was gonna be some stranger just talking to this person and it was gonna get really weird. But I guess, I guess like what I understand so far or what I think is going on is that Annie's just a normal girl who knows this person, Davy or David probably. And uh, there's like a person outside of her house and is gonna like break in. I think that's what's gonna happen. Not really sure. All right, so get your crazy dad to check it out. I'm home alone, the fam are on holiday, remember? I told you this. Damn it, Davy. Really? Till when? We should hang out. I think, uh, I think Davy's uh, flirting a little bit here. They really sound like footsteps, but there's something odd about them. I should look out the window, but my bed is so warm. If I heard, like, footprints outside of my window, you bet your ass I'm gonna look outside. I'm gonna try to peek outside so no one sees me, but I'm gonna try to see what's going on. At no point would I say, even if even if my bed is the most comfortable place on earth, if there's something creepy going on outside my house, I'm gonna take a look at it. Sure you wanna look out the window when you're alone? What if there really is someone there, in your garden, looking at you? Not funny, David. Wow, chill. I'm sure it's nothing. Uh, gonna check, be right back. If there's something strange in your neighborhood, I swear, if you if you continue on and do the Ghostbusters theme, I I'm gonna be pissed. Who are you gonna call? David, there's someone in the garden. What? Really? Yes, I can see the man's back. What's he doing? He's looking for something on his hands and his knees in the bushes. Haha, <laughs> he must be high, probably looking for his drugs. Why would they be in this bu why would they be in the bushes? David, this is serious. What should I do? Call the cops. What are you what what do you think David's gonna do? Call the cops and get them over to your place. And if you live in the US, your parents most likely have a gun. Find that gun and load it and just keep yourself safe in case the guy tries to break in and attack you. Nothing. He'll probably go away by himself. OMG, now he's digging with his bare hands. He's ruining the garden. I would not go outside. 
Shit, he's turning around. What does he look like? David, what the fuck? This isn't funny. What? How are you doing that? What are you talking about? Exactly, what are you talking about? I can see that it's you in my garden. How are you writing here without touching your phone? Look up, I'm by the window. Uh, can't you hear me banging on it? Wait, so he's outside? He's the one in the garden? Fuck Annie, now you're scaring me too. I'm definitely not in your garden. That's not me. Stop playing around. I can see your face and you're wearing that stupid football jacket you're so proud of. I swear, is this website programmed to like jump scare me or something? Please no. The last thing I need is to get jump scared. It must be someone who looks like me. Honestly, Annie, I'm at home. I wouldn't play around like that. It has to be a friend of yours, David. Uh, playing a sick prank. How else could he be wearing your jacket? There are loads of jacket like that. My friends don't look anything like me. You just have me on your mind. He's digging again. Leave it be. Fucking leave already. Annie, do you have a gun in your house? Don't be stupid, David. I couldn't shoot anyone. Well, if someone's gonna try to break into your house and try to kill you, you know, you might want to consider it. I mean, you don't have to shoot anyone because the guy isn't breaking in or anything, but it's always good to have some protection in case the guy goes berserk and uh, tries to attack you. You don't have to use it, just show that you're carrying it. Exactly. You don't have to use it. Uh, doesn't the jacket have your name on the back? Yeah, the team all got one with their name on. Oh, so it is his jacket. I can see your fucking name. Oh boy. What? What the hell is this, David? Annie, that jacket's in my closet. Fuck, he's seen me. Why is he smiling like that? Oh, this is getting weird, you guys. He's coming. It's, it is glitching out. It is glitching out. The screen just glitched again. It's doing this on purpose. Call the cops. Yeah, why didn't you do that to begin with? Call the cops. You should have done that to begin with. I'm gonna take these earphones off so I don't get um, jump scared. I know. Some might call that a pussy move. I don't want to get jump scared. My heart does not need that today. Anyway, Annie. Annie, pick up. I've called the cops, told them there's a break-in attempt at your place. Uh, they said they're on the way, but it'll take about half an hour. Where, where the fuck do you live? In the country? Annie, are you there? Oh, she's typing. It's in the house. Can't talk. Uh, I have to be quiet. Lights off. I'm in the closet with a knife. Hard to type, shaking too much. Fuck, fuck. Hang in there, Annie. The police will be there in 20 minutes. Wow, that went by fast. Do you know where he is? It, not he. The look it had when it saw me, David. No person could look like that. Did it look like this? Uh, Jesus Christ, does it know where you are? No, I grabbed the knife when I saw it running toward the house, and I got in the closet when uh, I heard it break in. Did you call- why didn't she call the cops? I mean, if you see some stranger in your yard digging, and it looks like really frightening, I just call the cops. Just call the cops. Okay, good, you'll be fine. A druggie doesn't have the brains to find someone hiding in the closet. The police will be there soon. I'm pretty sure they would have the brains to find someone in the closet, because they'd be looking for, like, drugs in the closet and they'd just stumble upon you. Oh god, it's calling out to me. This is weird, you guys. This is very weird. It doesn't sound like you, David. It's because it's not David. Its voice is so deep. Its voice is so deep. Hey, crazy frog here. Filling of the house. Filled my head. What is it saying? Come out, Annie. I just wanna look at you. What? It keeps repeating that over and over. Have I gone mad, David? Is this what it feels like? Just ten more minutes, Annie. Keep it together. You are so strong, you will get through this. It's coming up the stairs, but so slowly. Irregular steps. Why does it look like you, David? Why you? I don't know, Annie. Please believe me. Can you make it stop? Please make it stop. I would if I could, I promise you. It's at the end of the hall. 
Uh, David, I didn't say anything to my parents when they left. Oh, so she's thinking she was gonna die? I was listening to music. Is that the last time I see them? Annie. Uh. This has something to do with you, David. Only you can make it stop. Think fast. What? How does this have anything to do with him? I don't know, Annie. God, please. Please! It might be because I think about you so much. I think about you all the time. Oh, he's a creeper, isn't he? So stop. I don't know how. It's scraping something on the walls. Getting closer. Please, David. I'm trying. I'm trying so hard. It's slowing down. Try harder. Wait, so... The David guy is at home thinking about her and it manifested into some crazy dude in her front yard? What? Whatever you're doing, it's working. I'm afraid he's gonna- I'm still afraid he's gonna jump scare me. It stopped. I can't hear anything. Really? Don't go out yet. Stay put until the police get there. Yeah, that's a good idea. Stay there. What should I tell them if he's gone? Everything, Annie. Everything you told me. I didn't know you felt that way about me, David. Smiley face. They gonna fall in love now or something? I'm so glad it's stopped. Uh, can you come over in the morning, David? I really need to see you. Of course, Annie. I'll be there. If that shit happened in my house, I wouldn't- I wouldn't be at that house in the morning. As soon as that thing's gone, I would get out and go to like a motel or anywhere other than at home. And I'd probably- I'd probably just move out of the- <laughs> the friggin' uh, the state I was in. Great, can't wait. Annie, Annie, how do I know this is you? Oh, Annie96 went offline. Okay, so that's creepy. So, Annie probably was killed or something? That- because that would explain why Andy didn't call the cops. I don't know, that's very creepy. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. That was very creepy and very interesting. Anyway guys, I hope you liked this video. I hope my reading wasn't that bad because I, reading out loud for me is always a pain in the ass. And, but anyway, if you did like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, possibly share it with a friend, and also I hope you found this SPOOKY! But uh, with that being said, if you did like it, make sure you give it a thumbs up, possibly share it with a friend. If you're new, subscribe to join the family today, and I'll see you guys next time. Boop.